I just got back from taking my significant other to the hospital. Nothing too serious. Just a cough that, like many of the fake international students in Canada, has been staying longer than it should. There was something quite meta about the experience. There I was, sitting in the emergency room, waiting for my significant other to get seen, and I was spending some of that time scrolling through Twitter. And what I saw during the scrolling, in contrast to where I was sitting, really brought some context to where we're at as a country. The hospital we were in only had one doctor on duty. I'm not exaggerating. I guess I should also mention that this isn't a rural community, but damn, like, I mean, one doctor for a whole hospital. While waiting for this one doctor to get to us, I was seeing footage of the dancing monkey we all know and love as Justin Trudeau. Personally, nothing about the footage offends me. If Trudeau wants to dance, let our little monkey dance. Just kind of wish he didn't need a super expensive 200 cop detail around him so that just so he could dance. Even 50 Cent and Dr. Dre don't have details that big when they're hitting the clubs. By the way, check out this footage of some random white guy I found on Twitter showing he could beat Trudeau in a white off any day of the week. So here's our prime minister gyrating like a lunatic while I'm sitting in a hospital with one doctor working in it. As I keep scrolling, I then see footage of Trudeau hemming it up at the gay pride parade, which is part of the course for politicians. But what bothers me about it is that Trudeau isn't even taking a small 20 minute pocket of time just a 20 minute break from Pride to address the latest attack in a synagogue. Could it be that Trudeau's got a beef with the Jewish community because they helped the conservatives win the latest by-election? Well, I guess with the liberals, you get as much freedom of expression as your community carries clout. But while we're on the topic of gay pride, let's talk about all the hoopla polluting our social streams right now. While sitting in that emergency room waiting to see a doctor, I sure did see a lot of gay pride footage. And <laughs> I sure saw a lot of opposition to it. We're seeing a lot of footage of people parading in the streets naked, and a lot of folks are simply not having that. They say gay pride is one thing, and exposing yourself to the youngins is something entirely different. I can't say they're wrong. I mean, I'm all for gay rights, but I never did understand what getting your freak on in the streets is going to do for the cause. I mean, just about the weirdest thing I've ever seen at gay pride was some dude sticking a champagne bottle up his poo pipe, then shaking his butt up and down so the champagne poured up his rump and right back down and get into the bottle. You guys know where I'm going with this, right? So eventually he pulled the bottle back out and he and plenty of other festival goers passed it around and took swigs of his anal champagne. What's that going to do to empower the community? Nothing. A Twitter user named Miss Blair White tweeted this. I would like to announce that I am homophobic until normal gay people develop the balls to condemn this behavior and ban it from their streets. Well, Miss Blair, I'm afraid that cuts both ways because a group of normal gay people in Paris did just that. They took to the streets to condemn the freakier side of gay pride and look at what their own people did to them. Hey, 
Now, while that might make France look bad right now, the nation did do something pretty phenomenal. They just handed the reins of power to Marine Le Pen's party, the National Rally. So far, I've yet to find a single news outlet that refers to her party as anything other than the far right. Le Pen's main objective has long been to rein in immigration in France and to deport, without any hesitation, anyone who disrespects the country's norms and customs. France's left, as you might imagine, sure isn't too happy about her victory, and they're doing exactly what you can expect from the left. They refuse to accept defeat, or they refuse to accept it gracefully anyhow. Forget the fact that the election was democratic, and this far-right party, as the mainstream media loves to call them, were the choice of the majority. They're already tearing up the streets of Paris while you're watching this, as well as other cities across the country. <laughs> Thankfully for us, we live in Canada, right? Where no one seems to get that mad over anything. Or perhaps that's the problem. Canadians simply aren't angry enough. No one can afford to buy a house. No one can afford to eat. You have to wait eight hours to see a doctor. But screw it. Let's just dance. Like no one's watching. Oh 